Canate, if he plays, I think it will be tight. My Man City win 2 0. If Canate doesn't play and he has to play Milner right back, Gomez centre half, I think it could be a very long day. I feel mm. like it could Did be a 4 5, yeah. No! Yo, what's up, family? Now check this shit out, gang. Man, sometimes you can't make this shit up, man. Sometimes you get players who had a bang average career, made great pundits. Sometimes you get great players making crap pundits. But somehow, man, this fella had a bang mid average career and he's proving to be an even worse pundit. Like, you can't make this shit up right now. At this point in time, when Gabby says some shit, I think it's time to do just the opposite, man. It's time to expect the opposite outcome. Because my man said yesterday that Liverpool would be slapped 4 5 new at home to Manchester City if they played Milner at right back and Joey Gomez in the heart of the central defense. And it's ironic that those two players were actually one of the best players for Liverpool when they won 1 0 against Manchester City. In the worst case, man, if you ask Young Muli, man, Manchester City were actually lucky to lose only 1 0 because Liverpool created the more clear cut chances. If Nunes made the right decision once or twice, if Salah had managed to pass to Jota when it was 2 against 1 against Ederson, when Ederson made that mad save, and if Jota had scored that clear cut chance header when he received that crazy pass from Salah. By the way, man, that pass is underrated from Salah, man. Shout out to that pass. Or should I say that cross? Y'all know which one I'm talking about. The one in the second half. So with all these chances Liverpool had, they could have easily scored 2-3 goals. And when you compare the chances that Liverpool had and Manchester City had, it's fair to say that Liverpool had way better chances. But shout out man, shout out to Gabby Agbondolahar and big ups to Gabby for making us believe that anyone could be a top sport pundit out here man. And Gabby was actually one of my favourite players back in the days at his prime when he was playing at Aston Villa. He had some mad pace. I even remember when he suffered a horrible injury. I think it was against Chelsea if I'm not mistaken. But having said this shit man, I think bro has some negative ball knowledge man, I ain't gonna lie. I gotta, I gotta keep it a buck. While we're at it, man, check this shit out. Allison or Edison? Um, I think it's, isn't it easy just to name the Man City 11? I would, I would, I would name Man City's 11 every player over Liverpool. Trent Alexander-Arnold or Cancelo? Cancelo. Virgil van Dijk or Ruben Diaz? Diaz. Matip or Akanji? Akanji or Aki or Laporta. Fabinho or Rodri? That's easy. Fabinho can't run. Rodri. Thiago or Bernardo Silva? Easy again. Bernardo Silva. More energy. Get around the pitch more than Thiago. Diaz or Foden? Foden. Easy. Kevin De Bruyne or Firmino? Kevin De Bruyne. No brainer. Nunez or Jack Grealish? Definitely Jack Grealish. But Nunez looked better in his last game against Arsenal. Mm. But still, I think he's got the Timberlands on still. Jota or Mares? Mares. Mares is a real threat. When he receives that ball one on 1v1, one one, you know, there's not much better taking players on 1v1 one than Morris. Mo Salah or Erling Haaland? Haaland. Anyways, gang, that's that, man. What could you say? Do y'all agree with this shit? Let me know your thoughts in the comment box. It's your boy, Young Mooley. Like, subscribe. It's lit.